Hello oh, folks, Carsten here. This is a Flonis fruticosa in Jerusalem sage, infested with leaf hopper, which is quite normal. I'm going to show you how to prune it. And you have to prune it immediately after it's flowered, not a second later, or it will probably not flower the next year. So you need to prune it within an inch of its life. Just above a pair of buds like that. See these white flies drying off? It's quite normal. Not white fly, leaf off that. Right, let me just zoom in a bit. I just want to show you one, at least one close up, so you can get the the right idea. So where are we? And you can get out any dead wood at the same time, like this. I know it's out of frame, but a bit of dead wood there. So just show you. Right, you can see there, if it's going to focus, come on, I'll cut that. That way you don't get little dead stumps above the buds. That's it. Okay, so this is how you make a perfect cut. You need bypass secateurs like these. These are Felco, which are supposed to be the best in the world, but there are copies of these that are very good. Now, they need to be the right way round. The blade is always towards the plant. When you've got opposite buds like this, you go in like that. And get as close as you can to those lower shoots or buds there. Snip it off. The wedge part here is always on the side that you're throwing away because that crushes but the blade will cut and make a nice a nice clean cut for you there where you want it with the least amount of damage Right, that's it. That is the pruned shrub that's finished. And I know it looks awful, and believe it or not, I've taken out a lot of dead leaves in there which have revealed shoots further in as well, which, right down there, 
for example, they'd be really good if you wanted to renovate it, which would be you cutting it back really hard. As for the pruning cuts themselves, well, this is almost like a hedge in its density, so, you know, there's a bit of leeway there. You know, some of the, I mean, like that, for instance, there. That's a long stub, which is ideally should be, in a perfect world, that would be cut down to about there, where my thumbnail is. But it's okay in this case. Yeah, it's um, it's one of those shrubs that flowers it flowers on ripened previous year's growth like lilacs for example so if it is pruned a bit late it just won't flower the following year or it'll flower very poorly so <clears throat> if you but I've my experience with this is if you catch it just just in time it can ripen its growth enough to flower the following year. So we'll see.